keeping with the heresy that is genetic matrix and our willingness to provide you what you would like to see in terms of the display of information we created a family of astrology charts that also synthesize relevant human design information so this is what astro hd means it's a combination of astrology and human design astrology is as old as the hills and it represents an incredibly deep database of experiential information that has been gleaned by astrology experts over thousands of years and given that human design has only been in the world since 1987 we feel it's very churlish to ignore this astrological information and this is what really drove us to produce these astrology human design combination charts and certainly for the human design purists we've also come up with a solution for the true integration of human design and astrology because obviously human design everything about the body graph comes down to definition and a planet activation in an undefined center well it's as if it's not there it will only become animate when that center is animate and of course pure astrology has no notion of centers and thus it is assumed in astrology that all of the planetary activations imprinted are there all of the time and are available all of the time to that person so we've developed two kinds of charts one for native astrologers where there is no assumption of on off based on the center definition and another set of charts for those that truly want the essence of astrology but also stay in tune with the mechanics of how we know human design operates which of course is through this definition mechanism so I'm going to briefly walk you through all of the Astro HD natal charts and views available to you and give you an introduction to each view of this information and how it is structured and why it is structured that way. So we're starting here with the Astro HD natal chart. So this is the birth chart for this person. And the view name is called a natal quantum. Now, the view name is very, very important for you to understand. Where it says natal, it's utilizing astrology in its native format. So there is no reference to center definition. So a planet is a planet wherever it is, and it's assumed that that planet is always active where you see a view that says foundation quantum this is the same information but it's from the perspective of pure human design with astrology added into that mechanical matrix and thus within the astro hd natal chart itself which you select on the chart drop down in terms of your gm hub well there are a number of views and this view the natal quantum view is top of the list the rest of the list is here and i'm going to take you through all of these in this and maybe a subsequent video but you can see here natal 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 so the first three views here are from the traditional astrological perspective with human design added on to that then you will see foundation 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 well foundation in terms of human design is the word for natal so this is now human design and its mechanics with astrology layered on top of that so we're beginning here with the natal quantum view now this word quantum human design is a juxtaposed calculation of personality and design where the sun is 88 degrees apart now pure astrology 
is a personality only calculation it does not take into account the design calculation that is used in human design so this first natal quantum chart the quantum is a double calculation so this is astrology calculated twice once for the actual birth point of this person elon musk in this example and the other is for this point 88 degrees of the sun before birth this is what's yielded all of these red or design activations but this is still pure astrology without reference to the body graph or whether a center is defined or undefined. We'll come to that in one of the later views that we will look at. So what we have here is two databases of information. On the right is the personality, the conscious information. And on the left here is the red or design unconscious information. Now, in terms of astrology, astrology is always displayed in a kind of mandala format. It's the wheel representing the positions of the planets relative to the signs and relative to the houses that are not part of human design. So the way we've arranged this astrological wheel is that the red outer ring here are the design houses. The black inner ring are the personality houses or the conscious houses. Then you have the signs of the zodiac. Then you have the first reference to human design, which are the gates. Then you have the lines within that particular gate. Then inside of that are the planets and their positions relative to the signs of the zodiac, which of course then yields which human design gate and lines are activated. You will also see another representation of this in the numbered columns here, because if we look at the sun, you will see that next to that is the 52.3. The third line of the 52nd gate is activated by the sun in this person's design. And of course, which sign that is in is very important to astrologers. And that's why we've included the zodiac symbols here. So this is a cancer sun for Elon Musk and next to that is the house that that activation is bringing and this is the fifth house the far right column is showing the exact position in degrees and minutes of the sun relative to this person's date time and place of birth now you'll see when i hover over this sun here these two purple lines suddenly appear well, this is very important in terms of astrology because it's all about angles relative to another planet. And you understand these words in astrology, square and trine and semi-sextile and so on. These are all referring to angles. So we've utilized that critical astrological concept and it's these two purple lines that when you hover over the particular planet, in this case the sun with your mouse, that will then change this central angle indicator and show you all of the referential angles relative to the sun and the other planets. You will also see bottom left there a table and this is the table of aspects between everything calculated for this body graph. So you can find out with this table what are my aspects between Pluto and Jupiter for example. Well you go down to Pluto, there it is with the sixth gate in Virgo and you can see in this aspects table that the two purple lines are now highlighting all of the aspects relative to Pluto and of course this aspects table is very small we've had to really condense a lot of information into this single view of this chart but you will see later that we've created another view chart that is just the aspects so it's a giant aspects table so that you can spend your time clicking through the aspects and reading the descriptive information from an astrological perspective that that contains this is more of a summary uh, overview of everything that's going on in this person's Astro HD natal quantum chart. Now you'll see the listings of objects, calculation points and planetary objects here in this table. 
include certain things that are not on a normal human design chart and doesn't include other things that are on a human design chart that natively are not usually on an astrology chart. For example, the south node in astrology is not something that is utilized. It's always the north node. You'll also see here that we've included Chiron, which is not an imprinting planet from the perspective of human design. This also applies to Lilith, the black moon here. And then the final four lines here are classical astrological terminology. The AC, this stands for ascendant the ascendant in astrology really is how we meet the world and it relates to self-expression and typically the zodiac constellation on the ascendant is known as our rising sign so here we have aquarius rising so it's this rising sign that in astrology colors the way we meet life and approach new situations. And I think it's kind of cute because the rising sign is looking beyond where we are now. And we do have that notion in terms of human design because if you pay attention to every sixth line attached to every hexagram, well, a sixth line is looking beyond. It's not looking at the hexagram it belongs to. It's looking at the next line in the wheel. So this notion of ascendant is certainly not alien in terms of human design language. Then we have the MC. This stands for Midheaven, so this person has a Scorpio Midheaven in the 10th house and referentially in terms of human design this would be in the 1st gate and the 5th line. Now the Midheaven in terms of a pure astrology is linked to our social standing, career and reputation. So it really is the impression we give off before people have even met us. Then we have the DC, this stands for the Descendant, and uh, this is all about the other person. So in many ways, this is where we recognize and can be attracted to the qualities of our Descendant in other people. And finally, we have the IC, this stands for the Imam Coli, and this in astrology is linked to our heritage, our home, family, and the foundations of that family, where we're from, in other words. So the aspects connecting to the IC can and do affect how one would feel about settling down in a place and our perception of that home and the environment around it. And thus this column database of black information is replicated on the red side, the difference being that it's clearly a calculation 88 degrees apart from the birth or natal calculation. And the only thing I'd like to add here is that this is where we show the retrograde. You'll see this red R on the design side and this black R on the conscious side. So that planet Jupiter was in retrograde motion at the point that it was imprinted. Now, on the lower side of this astrology wheel, you will see the word house and then placidus. Well, this is referring to the house system that has been used to calculate the positions of the houses on this wheel. And of course, in astrology, there are many different types of house systems. And we are not in the business of limiting you to a particular house system. So we've made available to you the majority of the house systems used by astrologers. And these can range from the classical Placidus here to the Campanus system, the Regio Montana system, the Equal House system, the Whole House system, the Carter Poly Equatorial House system and on and on and on. So the house displayed on this particular chart is the house system that you have selected in the settings area of your GM hub. You will see there in the Astro HD Universal Chart Settings area, you will see a field house settings. And what you need to do is go into there, select the house system that you would like, say the equal house system, click update, and then every Astro HD chart that 
that you display in your GM hub will now use that equal house system and on the chart it will not say Placidus anymore it will say equal so you always have a visual reference as to which house mechanism that you have used then below that you will see system and then tropical well astrology comes in several different flavors as well tropical is the basis for the human design calculation and tropical also is a bona fide astrological calculation so this is saying that the tropical system has been used for the for the combination of the human design and the astrological calculation now of course there's a whole realm of astrology out there that does not use tropical calculations and again we've created charts specifically for those types of astrologers so you will see in the system drop down above every chart you will see the other system methods for calculating charts and these basically are the side reel system and that can be the traditional side reel system or the 13 sign side reel system or true side reel now that's getting really into the realms of heresy in terms of human design but we're here to allow you to visualize and experiment with different kinds of information that is the ethos of human design you will hear this over and over and over again experiment with your human design and thus we've made side reel available for side reel astrologers that utilize this information within the body of their work we're not making any assertion as to side real human design we've made that available for you but the traditional human design world only uses a tropical calculation so if that is your particular slant in terms of how you utilize these charts always leave this system set to tropical and it's always displayed on every chart so there's no confusion and then on the right hand lower side of this natal quantum view we've given you some of the basic human design elements that really marry the astrology to human design so here this is saying that this person is a pure manifesting generator type so we know this is a responding manifesting generator the profile is a 3-5 definition incarnation cross and fundamentally the channels that are forming definition in that person's design so this view is a wonderful view for pure astrologers that want to integrate human design into their work and they want to integrate the full quantum mechanism of human design which is the personality and the design calculation and in the next video I'll continue down this astrological view list and give you an overview of the other astrological views.